Hey, barbecue family on YouTube. Hey, everybody. How are you guys? Happy Friday, everybody. Hey, guys. Wait, are we? Oh, yeah, we are okay. live on YouTube, too. Okay. YouTube was first. We've got everybody up here. How are you guys doing? Can you see that, honey? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is actually a good setup out I here. think we have to press show, though. I don't know why that no. happens every no, week. No, we don't. Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Just I just put that off to the side here. All right, so it's so I'm so glad to have you guys with us because it is Friday. What? Friday. Okay, no, 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 okay. We, I need to be in here for that to happen. Hold on. Okay, so let's oh, I think just... we lost TikTok. Whatever. That's okay. That's cool. Okay, let me just fix TikTok here. I don't know. Hi, Fridge Man Barbecue. Nice to see you. Guys, we're outside. We're so excited. The weather is st finally starting to warm up over here. Thank goodness, because we are in Maddie's backyard in her grill zone grilling up something special today guys we've got barbecue man in the chat we've got julie on youtube hi julie okay it turns out tiktok ain't happening guys it just <laughs> said it said we're live on another device since when can you not go live on two devices weird that doesn't make any sense and we did that last week like, i know TikTok, get with tiktok it. come on okay so guys hi, it Pickles. is friday we are super happy that you guys are here but before we get started it is time to do the Friday day. I tried. Okay. You weren't jumping in. I wasn't in. even in yet. Okay, ready? Friday, Friday. Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Friday. And it's the first time under this gazebo. Yes. This is feeling absolutely fantastic. Hi, Canadian drum smoker. How we is everybody today? Okay, we've got Skogget in the oh, house. Skogget is finally back. Hi, Skogget. Hey okay, guys. so guys, we are super excited that everybody's here today because we're outside. Finally, it feels good. It is cold, yep. but it feels good to be out here. And we are making something that is combining two pretty fantastic dishes, okay? So we are making a barbecue fatty that is stuffed with a muffaletta mixture. Oh, okay? good heavens. I know some people are like, wow, that's that's a lot happening there. And it, it is. Yeah, this is going to be incredible. So hands up if you know what a muffaletta is. I would like to. I'm going to go double hands up. Okay, she's got double, double hands, hands up. up. Okay. Oscar's tuning in. Hi, barbecue man. Happy Friday. Okay, so guys, a muffaletta is essentially, it's it's a loaf of bread normally, and it's not meat at all like we are doing today. So it's a loaf of bread that has cold cuts, and it's got spicy, it's got a spicy pickled condiment inside of it, cheese. But we are going to take this to a grill level, and we're making it with ground beef. We're going to um, put some muffaletta filling sort of on the inside of it. Courtesy of our friends at Helenda's, that cold cut, it's called Sremska, and it's so, so delicious. It's salty, it's spicy. Yes. And it's spicy not only in heat, but also in flavor. It's got a lot of paprika in there. And we are so excited that Helenda's <laughs> has sponsored this whole thing. They As really usual. Yes. Yeah. So Brian said that he just had to Google Muffaletta. That's okay, Brian. That's why we're here. We love Brian because Brian always shows up pre-educated yeah, okay he, knows. he googles everything that we do before we even do it so i'm impressed by that brian thank you for doing that we're gonna get started guys this all starts with the bacon weave okay yes. so we want to know have you guys ever done a bacon weave let us know in the comments on youtube on insta tiktok whatever <laughs> we've had enough of you TikTok. never mind tiktok you're not getting this information <laughs> and also guys if you were outside if you can hear some backstra some background um construction noise yeah it's right it's happening right across the street over yeah. here okay we're in maddie's backyard today so bye michelle love it every morsel happy friday okay yeah, so i let's... see the interrupting started yeah it already cool. guys it wouldn't be barbecue fr footloose friday without that okay so we're gonna get started with the bacon weave because this is this is i think a lot of people are intimidated on the bacon weave but it's when you guys see this happen it's super easy okay so we're just starting with some sliced bacon okay and we're just laying it down in a perfect not not overlapping way here okay so i hope that you guys can see this i think you can yeah and we're going to show this up close later on so if you guys didn't can't see us fully then we're going to show it like up close so you can get more involved there yeah because everybody should do a bacon weave it goes in so many different things yes you can we actually um just did something well we went, we're not going to say what it is because we just did it it's going to be coming out later and it turned out amazing and it smelled so fantastic Okay, so honey, while you get started on the weave, I'm going to get started on the meat portion of our fatty. And like I said, we're going to do this one with some beef today. Barbecue Man's just feeling like he wants to shout out bacon. That's bacon, cool. yes. <laughs> bacon. Yes, Barbecue Man. Oh, and Watermark Boards. They're saying, <laughs> I love bacon. And you know what? I love Watermark Boards. They make fantastic boards, 
Yes, okay? they do. They really, really do. Okay, so I am going to get started on the the beef portion. So we've got, we're just going straight beef today. You could do a beef pork mix, but we had just beef and we didn't want to go out. Everybody stay at home right now. So yes. we did not want to go out to get more pork. Okay, Tri-Tip Junkies tuning in over on YouTube. He said, hi, Charlie. Hi, Mr. Scoggin. Love the barbecue family. Everyone's friends. Everybody knows each other. And speaking of barbecue friends, Uncle Steve. Yeah. Okay. Is Uncle, Uncle Steve, Steve in the chat anywhere? Where is Uncle Steve? We've got, he usually shows up. Yeah. We've got Uncle Steve's going in here. And we're going to season liberally with Uncle Steve's because, one, we love it. And, two, we want to make sure that this meat is nice and flavorful. So then we're going to add in one egg. Hey, so Canadian smoker, Canadian drum smoker in Co is saying, ooh, Dreamweaver, I believe we can make it through the night. Oh, that's a good song. <laughs> that is so good. That, that's such a good song. Okay, so I think people can hear the beeping because someone just said, uh, Mike C just said he's, he, if it's a truck of meat that just showed up. Because you could probably hear that beeping, guys. <laughs> I wish it was a truck of meat. It does get <laughs> annoying around here. Okay, so I just added in some quinoa flakes, and we've talked about these before. If for whatever reason you can't have oats, a lot of people have an issue with oats, you can use quinoa flakes. Gluten-free. Instantly gluten-free when you use quinoa. Yeah, and we really, we really, really like that. So we've, we've added a, a quite a bit here, and they act the exact same as oats in any recipe. So they stretch out the meat a little bit, and they help to absorb some of the moisture so it's easier to form into that classic log yes, shape. Yes, it doesn't... It doesn't, like, you know when you just use meat, a lot of the time it reduces a lot through the cooking process. This makes it so the shape stays exactly the same, which is fantastic. We have Jay in the house, both from our barbecue, and our girl Chantel. Hi, Chantel. Happy Friday. Way Hot Sauce just tuned in. And Brian's saying, Scoggit, that's a classic. I miss, oh, Scoggit said, I saw that Canadian bacon movie. That is a classic. That is a classic. That is an absolute classic. Okay, so Kiki, while you're mixing that up, yep. before I take over from the bacon or not take over but continue with the bacon meat here you guys know every friday we like to talk about what we're grateful for because oh, that's even, cold. I know, it is cold <laughs> even even with the glove the gloves. on i'm like oh my hand is somehow like... you're making it happen with the gloves too i can't stand the gloves so we're outside guys so we're making it happen with the gloves yeah but like I was just saying, no matter how hard it is during these crazy times, we all know we're living in crazy times. It seems to be getting better than getting oh. worse and getting better. It's and wait, in Ontario, I don't know if you guys are watching the news, but in Ontario, it's getting particularly dicey. Out of nowhere. Yeah. It's like vaccine time and then now it's getting worse. Yeah. So, but that with all that being said, there are still so many reasons why we can be grateful. Yeah. And and we have tons to be grateful for. We know that you guys do too. And you know what? I'm saying that too. If you're feeling a little down, that's okay too. We all have. It's, I hard, am. Not, it's hard not to these days. I'll be honest with you guys. I was feeling down hearing those numbers going up, everything seeming so bleak, but focusing on what you're grateful for instantly makes you feel better. Agreed. And sharing it with everybody. So Chantel is saying, I'm definitely grateful, or she's definitely grateful for her family, talent, her music talent. Chantel, and Chantel. And even us lovely ladies. Chantel, you are super sweet. We're grateful for you too, girl. And we're grateful that Chantel tunes in every single week. I know. I, I love Chantel. Think it's, I don't think there's a time that she hasn't tuned in. Pickles is just said he got his first vaccine Monday, and that is what he's grateful Pickles, for. Pickles, yay! Pickles, that is fantastic. We're oh, Julie, Julie's on too. Julie, have you gotten your vaccine yet? I hope that you have. I hope that we get to get ours soon. Yes, I hope so too. It's like so touch and go in our area because since I have a um, chronic high risk health condition, you'd think I would get it soon, but it seems like every time I check, I'm like, when, when is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. It's at, hopefully it's going to be everybody's turn soon. And your kitchen is set. Your kitchen in Tokyo is saying hi from Tokyo. Hello. So cool. Hello I from Canada. We have our flag right up there. We're very proud. I don't know if we've ever had someone from Tokyo. I know. It's a special day today. Very, very, very special. special See, I'm grateful for that. Oh, and I'm grateful Jennifer's tuning in. The girl that grills, I'm, she's saying, I'm fully vaccinated, hoping, hoping you can get yours too soon. Another round of applause for Jennifer. That's fantastic. Jennifer, that is amazing. So glad to hear that. Okay, so we are going to continue <laughs> with the bacon weave. Okay, so guys, this is where we're at so far. Okay, Ooh, so you wow. should see, hopefully this doesn't slide right off. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'd still take it back up. No, I'd be like, I'm, whatever. It's bacon. The five Who seconds. Who cares? Oh, it's okay. cured. So we are laying out our bacon like this. Now, all you do is you go every other row of bacon and you give it a little fold back like that. Okay, so every other roll, every other row, 
every other row. We okay? got a greetings from Germany too. Hello. Germany, hello. Okay, this is so cool. This is awesome. Every time we do this, we've said this a thousand times, live streaming, you never know who you're going to get. And that's the fun in it. And we've got Brayden over on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us, Brayden. Nice to have you here. Happy Friday. Hi, and S. Will just tuned in. S. Will, you know it's a real party when S. Will shows up. S. Will in the house. Okay, so guys, now I just put down another strip of bacon, just like that on that side, okay? And then easy peasy, you give it a fold. You give it a full, keep it nice and tight because this first thing sets the tone for the whole weave, okay? This first row. Then we're just gonna now go this way and- See, you weave a little bit differently than me. I don't weave like that. Different. Everyone weaves this them a different. This is mad special weave because I don't weave like that. I kind of start in the center and then work my way to the front oh, and I the back. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. And that happens, guys. But you know what? It's a big blanket of bacon. No <laughs> one's going to be looking that close. That's what I got to say about that. And have fun with it. Have exactly. Fun with your weave. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so guys, while Maddie's doing her weaving, I want to ask you guys, what are you grateful for this week? First and foremost, a lot of people say the vaccines. That's making me extremely happy because me I like too. hearing that people are getting it. And, um, honey, please share with us. What are you grateful for this week? Okay. So I'm grateful. Is this, is this, okay. Yeah, or do you need to concentrate go. on that? Do you want me to give no, it a share? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> honey's, honey's just focused I'm on the bacon the, weave. I'm in the bacon weave zone here. Okay? okay. 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 So no, I can, I can weave and I can talk. And okay. Sing. Okay. She's doing it. She's making it happen, guys. Man, I don't know why talking is this. No, me Why neither. is talking that? <laughs> okay. So, okay. First, before I share that though. Look at how beautiful that See? is, guys. It's already happening. Lift it up, okay? Lift it up. Yeah, there. I, you're Pass really, the you really want it to fall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Quinn is tuning in. SK Barbecue. He's saying the barbecue community. He's grateful for that. And guys, we say it every week. We are super grateful for the barbecue community. It's where true, real friendships are formed. Yeah, I'm incredibly I'm, grateful for you guys each yes, and every week. It's some. You never can feel alone. If you feel alone for a second, you hop online. Talk to one of the barbecue family members and instantly you feel happy. You don't feel alone anymore. Yeah, Canadian drum smoker is saying he is grateful for the weather changing. Big, oh, huge goodness, hands up yes. on that. Thank goodness. Although right now it doesn't feel like that. No, it, like it is cool. But one of, one of the things I'm grateful for this week is actually those very early spring flowers that pop up. It's like a glimpse of hope coming through the ground. The daffodils. You got your tulips. The tulips. Um, What is that puffy looking one? Yeah, I know. What are those ones? I I knew what it was, but I can't think of it. But mom, I, is mom on the live here? Mom will let us know. Do you guys mom know what that's called? Plant. I love those. I saw those on my way over here today, actually, and those are gorgeous. But, and bar er, flowers literally bring joy. Yes. The look of flowers bring joy. But in saying that... Oh, Colleen! Hi, Colleen! Hi, Colleen! One of our barbecue sisters, she's saying that my man is now a husband. Oh, it's now her husband! Yes. Colleen got Congrats, married. Colleen. Colleen got married. Congratulations, Colleen. She's saying she's grateful for him and her dog. Yes, the love of a dog. Something to be extremely grateful for, guys. Yeah, I know. I know we are really grateful. We have little Loopy watching off to the side here. Yep. And it's Kathy cold just there tuned in. She's saying cold here, too. She loves her daffodils. Uh, Kathy, happy Friday. And yes, Kathy is a Chicago girl. And I feel like they have very similar weather to us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm now, ready for it to be warm and to not be sniffling out here. Because I am I, I feel like the snots could oh, happen don't. right now. Please don't. I hope it doesn't. Okay, Julie is saying that she's also afraid because she has a high risk chronic condition. That's why I wanted to know if Julie got her vaccine. Because I know that Julie does. We know And Julie she says, okay, so that. this is a concern. Julie said she is not sure that she trusts that the vaccine isn't going to cause further issues for her for her condition and that is a concern for a lot of it's people a good question julie because if you react to the flu shot um and i think a lot of people are like oh no there hasn't been like a huge amount of testing on this so like they're not going to know like the long-term effects and stuff um but hopefully if you want if you do want to get it julie you're able to soon yep i hope you can i really hope you can and with that being said i'm finally going to dive into my first grade okay i'm finally going to dive there. Into we're there it. i'm okay. into it so guys Oh, before I do that, though, sorry, I just need to show this off for a hot Okay, second. wait, Brayden must have come in late. Brayden over on YouTube is asking, what are we making? We're making a muffaletta stuffed fatty wrapped in a bacon weave. Brayden, is this your okay. first time watching? Because Brayden's probably like, what the heck is all of that? 
<laughs> Brayden's like, who are these two? And yeah. like, what are they doing up in Canada there? <laughs> Hi, Brayden. Okay, and we have Gorilla Gorilla saying, hey hey to Barbecue Man. Everybody knows Barbecue Man. Barbecue Man actually threw, threw out a Konnichiwa earlier, I saw. Did he? To our friend that was tuning in from Tokyo. Tokyo, that's awesome. Barbecue Man knows his stuff. Okay, so guys, yes, he does know his stuff. He really does. And what I'm grateful for this week, this is taking it back a little bit, okay? Okay. This is something that was very near and dear to us when we were growing up, honey. I think that you can relate to this too. Okay. I am grateful to have grown up in the time where music videos ruled all. Okay. Okay, guys. Yes. Who's with me on that? Sometimes to this day, a song will come on the radio and I will instantly think of the music video. Oh, good heavens, Okay, yes. and I don't think the, the youth of today I sound like Grandma River here, but <laughs> I don't think the youth of today fully understand and fully get no. like the the. Well, where are music videos even being played now? YouTube. Oh, oh YouTube. yeah, I guess that's true. But YouTube, are people watching them? Like they watch them, but they allow you like. Do you guys remember tuning into like the top ten list? The you countdown had to wait for your song to come on. Yes, and if you got up to go pee during the commercial and didn't get it back in time, you missed it, and you were like, "Oh no, what's half of the top 10? Aqua's already been played, Barbie girl. <laughs> okay, Colleen's agreeing. She's saying, "Amen." Quinn is saying, "Oh yeah." Yeah, you guys know everybody yeah the people that grew up in that time it ain't the same now it really ain't the same no, now it's so true oh, michael michael's tuning in on youtube hi gals had troubles joining the chat but he's here at last michael what the heck time is it over there in vienna okay hi michael i'm gonna guess probably in the middle of the night <laughs> okay Kath kathy is saying she's right there with with you maddie on that yep so am i because the music videos do rock guys yes they totally Okay, this is not how I'm trying to like roll up my sleeves here. Look at this. Yeah, that's why I started. I, mine are falling, but yeah, that's, not, okay. that's not really working. All right, okay. I'm ready to rumble, guys. This bacon weave is looking tight, really tight, and nice and flat and ready for Kiki's fatty here. Okay, okay? Skaga is saying he remembers American Bandstand. So do I. I remember American Bandstand too. Well, that was also a little bit before our time, but we know what that is. Yeah, okay, so. Now what we're going to do, honey, maybe what I'd like you to do is put your put your weave on the tray. Because I don't want to have to maneuver this. That's going to be way too hard. I'm okay, scared. Okay, let me move my I'm pop. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, Furly Boy's in the house. He's saying, what up, Oscar? Everybody has okay. to say their hellos to Barbecue Man. All right, Canadian drum smoker just said lyrics these days are horrible. I completely agree with that. Agreed. What Agreed. is with that, guys? I don't even want to say, like, some of the lyrics that are out there. Oh, because no. it's not. A, it's just not appropriate. And they're not, they're not about... Oh, 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 it's really windy. <laughs> they're not even, like, about anything. No, like, yeah, that's what not. I'm noticing. It's not. Not. I don't think really a lot of the songs today are classics like like they were in the past. Okay, so you don't want to put that on there first? No, because we're I knew gonna Maddie was going to be difficult today, guys. I just had a feeling. How? She is. Okay, she is, don't she... make me push you right over. Guys. guys. <laughs> okay, then let me get in this. Let me get in here. Oh, mom's on. Mom's Hi, mom. on too. Can you move? Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, so are you switch me places? Get on. Get over there. Oh. <laughs> Who would guess that this is the little sister, guys? <laughs> this one is the little sister, and I'm being commanded around. But I always listen to you, honey. I, do. I know you do. And okay. I'm just trying to get close to you because I'm freezing right now. Okay, so what we're going to do now, Maddie doesn't want to put the weave on the tray, which I think would be yeah, a lot no, easier. That's, no, because then you weave it onto no. the fatty. <laughs> no, excuse me. <laughs> we're not. We're Then you we, you we put the weave onto the fatty, and then it just rolls up and put it puts it on there. Just do okay. as I say. Just do as I say. Do as I okay, say, Kuchina not as I do. Okay, Michael. He just tuned on. Happy Friday. Kuchina D. Michael. Kuchina and and Michael. Gorilla Gorilla saying Little Sister Spicy. Gorilla Gorilla, are you, are you late to the party here? Because, yes, everybody knows Kiki is the feisty one. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, honey, can you please pass me the fixings then? We've switched yes. spots. Yes, and we can, I can keep my gloves on because... This is all this is all the same thing, okay? So, all right, so we're going in with some cheese. This is some smoked provolone we got going on here first. You could use any cheese you have, but smoked provolone is going to be fantastic in here. Again, I hope my snots are not going to dribble onto this. Can you please stop saying the word snots while we're cooking? <laughs> my nose is really running. It's really not, not pleasant. Okay. Then we have our Sremska in here, and we're just oh, going to yeah. go in. Like, we're not gonna We're not going to be stingy with it, everybody. No, we're going to add in a layer, and... Um, while Maddie's going to add that in, I would like to let you guys know something else that I was very grateful for this yes, morning. Yes, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, so on my drive over to Maddie's, I was like, this is something that I'm sure you guys can relate to. This happens all the time in the country when you're taking the back roads. Pause one sec. Okay. Guys, this is our jardiniera. It's basically a pickled, zesty, delicious salad 
So this one is actually extra zesty because it has some jalapenos in there. You got some little pickled pearl onions, some pickled just regular pep peppers, and some pickled eggplant. So the whole whack of cool stuff. All obviously there's some olives in here, and it's gonna go so it's gonna pair perfectly with this because it cuts the richness yes. and the fattiness of the fatty. Okay, and, you know what's and the great? cheese. This is like this is rich overload. You know what's good about adding the quinoa flakes too is instead of having these juices and the fat from the uh, beef rendering out, it will stay in there yes. and keep it, it super absorbs. moist. It absorbs. It absorbs and holds the shape okay so okay, you're off pots okay wait and also pots. we made this um we made a fermented version of jardy last um summer and it was unreal okay so jay's saying what's that, that wow that's gonna be good yes jay, it is jay always says that jay is super sweet jay thank you for being here he's our rocker barbecue friend okay he always has his parent an amazing song with his reels you guys gotta check out his page I love Jay. Yeah, Jay is. He's always sweet. so friendly too, and he's always got. He's that guy's got such a good vibe. Okay, now you're crowding me, so please get over. I can't. I'm trying to stay warm. Okay. I'm freezing. Okay, so now we have the the second half of the meat that we're gonna flatten out and put on top. <laughs> what? Brian saying such elegant daughters you have, Gina. <laughs> now, Brian, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> okay. So I'm just flattening this out to make a, the second half of our fatty and I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to um, form it over, but let me continue telling you guys what, what made me very grateful this morning. Okay. So on my Let's drive, on my drive over, you guys, if anybody takes the back roads when they're driving, if they like taking back roads, I got stuck behind this guy with a trailer and he was going like 20, 20 kilometers an hour. He was going super, super slow. And at first I was like, Oh, I'm going to be late. Like I'm never going to get there on time. But then it kind of made me realize because I'm stuck behind this guy, I'm forced to literally stop and look around, take in the scenery. Oh, okay, so you enjoyed the stop. Yeah, like check it out was, the- It went from something bad to something good. It went from like me being annoyed to me being <laughs> grateful. It was like- Oh, that's a, that's a complete turnaround of emotions there. Yeah, there was like some cows around. Like I just was having a good look around. I feel like these days more than ever, sometimes you do just have to stop and look around and- Look around at what there at, at all the things that there are out there that we can be grateful yeah, for. Yeah, and I could tell that the guy ahead of me was like he I think he was worried that I was gonna be annoyed at him. But I literally wanted to be like, you know what, buddy, thanks a lot. Because Aww. you made me like if look only you could tell him that. Because I could sometimes those those farmers that are driving that machinery on the road. Okay, that is a perfect, perfect. Goal. And you're telling me that you didn't you doubted that for a hot second. Okay, I'm just You I doubted like, it. No, no. You don't, doubted you don't it. Elbow no, me no, out. You're trying to push me out. Okay, as well Bay State, saying, Bay, sorry, Bay State Barbecue just came on. He said, Hi ladies. Hello, Bay State Barbecue. Happy Friday. Thank you for being here. And Michael is over on YouTube. He's saying, I thought spring has already arrived. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I thought spring has already arrived in Canada. You know what, Michael? It is cool. This is what happens every year here in Canada, okay? We get some nice warm weather. Then Mother Nature sends us right back into the cold zone, okay? And, then and that's like, where we're seriously, at. Like, that's where we're at right now. So we jumped the gun. We're outside again. But we just couldn't be kept inside any longer. We had to get outside. And as Will just said, it's a, he, that it's good for to stop and smell the roses. And yes, it is so true. It that's totally is. And okay. Lisa the Halo Griller just joined. Hi, Lisa. I'm one of our barbecue sisters. How are you, Lisa? We hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Lisa, check this out, okay? This is, look, okay, honey. Oh my I got God. it. Look, guys. Again, guys, any opportunity for her to, like, give it a huh? little with the guns? One you of can't these? see them through there, but they're Can happening I, through there. One of these? Oh, right over the head? Okay, I better be careful or else I'm going to drop yeah, this please thing. Please don't. Okay, swap me spots. All right, and check that out, guys. Anybody who's just tuning in, what, you, what you're looking at right here is a bacon weave wrapped fatty. That is stuck <laughs> with fatty. No, no, it's just like 10 <laughs> things. Bacon weave to fat. Steady, like <laughs> I know. I think we went way too much on this. It's like so many things in one. Okay, I'm so just it's a bacon weave wrapped fatty that is stuffed with a muffaletta mixture. That is a mouthful. You did that it. It's absolutely a mouthful. Honey, you did it. <laughs> okay. Julie says we better watch out. We better be anchored down because you can tell the wind here is nuts. Yeah, it yes. is. Yes, can you guys see this? Like this is like all of a sudden a huge gust happens. What is it called like, up here again? What do you mean? What is this neighborhood? It's called. This is called Wind. Or it's yeah, Winfield Farms. Yes. I think, and so it is windy. Oh, Uncle Chico's here! Hi, Uncle Chico. Fatties are something different in SoCal. Uncle Chico, are you being funny? Are you being funny? <laughs> I just was gonna ask. I was just gonna fall for that and be like, "What are they in SoCal?" Uh, Uncle, Uncle Chico. Chico. He's always got a slight bit of a dirty edge to him. <laughs> he does. That's why we love Uncle 
Chico. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna just finish by topping this off with some more of Uncle Steve's smoke bomb because you cannot have too much. Canadian drum smoker Co saying, do you even lift, bro? Because you were just hey, going like that. Excuse me, do you wanna go there? <laughs> okay, can I take these off? I need to. I need a sip of my water here. I'm, I'm yeah. dismantling. Okay? I dismantled, even though my is hands are freezing. Is this mine or is yours? I don't even know. Oh, no, mine's over here, honey. Okay, Skagit saying it's 48 degrees here in Skagit. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas? Do you know how what that is? Lubbock? Am I butchering I, I don't know. I've heard of it. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I have heard of it. Although a lot of my knowledge of Texas comes from country songs, like Luke and Buck, Texas. Yep. Who is that? Waylon. Okay, Waylon. <laughs> and Tom's Food Factory saying it's all it's 48 here in Columbus, Ohio, too. Ooh. Guys, rub it in. I know. Okay, rub it in. Thanks a lot, guys. It's freezing. We're freezing our arses off over here, guys. It is freezing, but okay, Lisa's saying what's in your fatty. Lisa, we just shared it, but we'll share it, share it again because you asked, asked so sweetly. So we have a mufaletta mixture going on in the side of that. Check that out, guys. Or inside of that with oh, yeah. cheese, some jardinier mixture, and it's just going to be absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. Quinn is saying plus nine in Saskatoon today. I don't know what it's it is. It's about here. that here. It's a, is it's, it? It's way, it feels way cooler. You know what? The weather said it was plus eight. I think the high was supposed to be plus nine, but I'm like, this is like plus two. Like my hands are freezing. This does not yeah. feel like plus eight, guys. Yeah. And on that note, I say we fire up the barbecue. Yeah. We get this on. And you know what? I was just, this went, this went super, by super fast. Like it always does. It always does. I love hanging out with you guys on a Friday. Can't wait to get this thing on the grill. And can't wait to show you guys the inside later Keith on. Keith is saying you two must have been a handful growing up. Keith, that's a very good point. And mom is watching right now. And I, I think she'd say we still are. Oh, I think I so. I really do. I think so. Okay. Oh, wait. We didn't get to say hi to Three Stooges. Hi, Three Stooges on YouTube. Hi, Three Stooges. Where is, oh, he's saying 60 here in Oklahoma. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Isn't Oklahoma known for the wind? The, yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay. So he's probably looking at this and being like, this isn't even windy. This is is it o what came in Oklahoma, the Sooner State? How do you know that? Is that right? What, is, what the Sooner State? What yeah, I don't. Mean? I don't know, guys. I used to work for OnStar. I don't have a lot of random facts about the states. I'm impressed by that. <laughs> I think probably more than Canada. But is that right? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know either, but that's that's very interesting. I don't know if that's right, guys. I, <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you guys for tuning in. This went by super quickly, but we're going to fire up the... Okay, this is really... I just touched grease over there. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to fire up the grill, get this on, and we'll shoot, show you guys what it looks like a little later on. Okay, nice. Have a great weekend, guys. So nice to hang out with you. We will catch up with you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye, Happy guys. Happy Friday. Oof. I gotta get my parka back on. <laughs> yeah, we should have gone parkas. We really should. Yeah, have. I was right. The sooner state. <laughs> Three.